in this video. In today's game, Southampton are going to be taking on Huddersfield in an important championship match. The Saints sit second in the table with a game in hand over third place Leeds. Meanwhile, Huddersfield are struggling to stay out of the relegation zone, having recently sacked their manager Darren Moore. They have lots of injuries too, one of their players even received a betting ban, things aren't going well. Southampton on the other hand have had a great season and we're on fantastic form with a massive unbeaten streak. While the Saints are chasing promotion, Huddersfield are down near the bottom, but this is not going to be a walk in the park. Huddersfield beat Sheffield Wednesday 4-0, just like we did. But I am going to predict a 3-0 victory for Southampton. Now time to make my way to the stadium. And then before kickoff, we had this epic brass band playing. Thanks. And the players finally came out, and it was almost time to kick it. And finally, Huddersfield kicked us off, and this game was underway. It started off as expected with the Saints getting the first big chance. No side was getting any big, big chances early on, but we seemed the better team. Huddersfield weren't rubbish though. Any team seemed like they could score the first goal. Then Armstrong had this big opportunity to score a header. And Bednarek committed a couple of fouls. He ended up getting himself booked. Then we had another chance to score. There were claims for handball there, but I don't think it was. And in the end, the chance ended in nothing. And after a worrying bit of Huddersfield possession, we had another attack. But then, disaster struck. I didn't film it, but Huddersfield got themselves in front. Yep, Huddersfield had scored, and to be honest, it wasn't really against the run of play. They've been doing quite well. And they really were getting the better of us towards the end of the first half. But then we got a free kick, and it was the perfect time to pull them back. It's fair to say the Saints weren't happy with the half so far, but it was about to get worse. That's right, it was 2-0 to Huddersfield and nobody could quite believe it. At that point, our unbeaten run looked like it was fading away, and we would be lucky even to get a point out of this game. No, 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 no. We really needed half time really to come well. quick because Huddersfield were all over us. Well, at half time, it was 2 0 to Huddersfield, and Southampton had looked dreadful overall. Things were not going to plan at all. We would need something special to get back into this game. And uh, speaking of something special,
What an incredible strike by Rothwell. Here it is in slow motion. Top bins, he struck it so well. It was 2-1 and the Saints were back in. Then, still only five minutes into the second half, it became 2-1. It was just an incredible comeback. I don't even know how that happened. Two goals in five minutes meant that Southampton were now favourites to win. Everyone was buzzing after those two goals. Southampton carried that momentum into the next five minutes and we were playing really well. And then came a huge chance to take the lead. No, so close, but we were looking the ability. At that point, however, our luck started to change. As you can see, Huddersfield were now the ones creating chances. We still had a few shots, but Huddersfield were the better team. And then they had another run at goal. We were allowing Huddersfield way too many opportunities that they kept wasting. But throughout the next few minutes, they seemed very dangerous. And then it all went wrong. You're about to see a ridiculous goal. I mean, just look how high it goes. Way too much time. Way too much time. Unbelievable. That goal just made absolutely no sense. Some of our fans were even saying, way, because they thought it had gone over the bar. This is the replay, slow motion of this unbelievable goal. Like, look how high it goes. That is incredible. It had all gone wrong again, and Huddersfield carried on attacking. They were by far the better team. Good shot, we were struggling to even keep the ball outside of our own half. We just kept playing it around in our half and losing possession. A few minutes later, one of their players got a yellow card for a terrible foul on Armstrong. But as the half went on, we did start to get better.
We were finally getting into good positions. Time space. And they began to do some time waste. But then we had another big chance for an equalizer. Another great goal by Roth. And now with the score at 3-3, more chances came flooding in. Sekumara have scored the Saints' fourth goal to put us in front for the first time in the game. There were only a few minutes left, we just had to see it out until full time. So now it was 5-3 and the game was almost over. Or was it? The Saints were still looking more threatening going forward. But Huddersfield weren't done yet. And after a hundred minutes of football, the match was finally over. Game was finally over. 5 3 to Southampton, and what a game it was. That is another win for the Saints. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.